What's up guys, it's Elam here and today in Wild Kinetics I'm going to show you guys how to make your own little launcher out of Kinects. This can launch basically these little green rounds, white rounds, and even blue rounds. I present to you the new and improved launcher, the 2.0 version of this little launcher. So it works the same way, you have your hammer, you pull this thing back and it loads it. This trigger will probably, by the end of the video, I'll show you guys how to have it self lock so you don't have to push it back. You'll see in a second. So, to lock it and load it, I have to basically pull this back and then I have to push the trigger. I'm gonna see if I can set it up to where this trigger can kind of be pulled back with something so that way, like a rubber band or something, if I attached it to like here, so that way it'll, it'll automatically pull back whenever you pull it back so you don't have to kind of like be in that awkward position of you trying to pull it back, all right? These also launch the same rounds, but it launches them more powerfully. And if I get enough likes and enough views and enough interest, um, I will probably make a video of any improvements. I'll probably try and work on any improvements I made on this little Connects launcher, all right? So let's get started with the building. Alright, so this is not an insanely complicated build, so it requires very few parts. You're going to need eight of these yellow half circle parts. You're going to need two of these uh, white parts right here, full circles. You're going to need one of these um, sort of 90 degrees sections. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. I'm not a full expert on connects, so but you're going to need four of these uh, yellow sticks right here. Um, I should also note that the color does vary with like kits, so these could be gray or something, but ones that are this long. You're also going to need four of these pieces that are not quite half circle, but you know, they're kind of like sort of 45, angling out in a 45 degree angle. You're going to need six of these white pieces, and you're going to need one of these orange pieces. This is for the trigger. You're also lastly going to need three of these blue pieces. And of course, you need rubber bands. So, I know not everyone has heavy duty rubber bands or a lot of them, but really it varies. And you really, like, most rubber bands could work. Like, these would still be able to work for the launcher. You just need to use more of them than what I did for this one. All right, now let's get started with the building. So these are some of the rubber bands I have. Um, I can just use these yellow ones for starters. Um, how we're going to do this is we are going to loop them back here. So we're gonna start, we're gonna have them all be back here like this. All right, 
So, how we're gonna do this is we're just gonna first place it here. So, right here. That's how I'm gonna place it to make sure it's in the back and not through the side so it's evenly, um, has even power to it. Next, I'm going to loop it back here, through here, and then I'm going to place it right here. All right, and then that way it's going to provide power to it, all right? It's really tight, and yes, I know one is very weak. This is what it does. It doesn't even do anything with one, right? But power increases in numbers, all right? So just keep adding more and more until there is some sort of power distributed to it, all right? Let's test it out with a green round and a white round. Here's a plastic water bottle, I guess you could say. So, how you just load this in right here, you just boom, place it through. It does fall out sometimes, so just be considerate of that. So, in case if it dry fires, that's probably what happened. Just aim and fire. Very weak. It did, I mean, this is like 12 inches apart and it didn't even shoot it. So, we have to add in more rubber bands. All right? Boom, now, now it puts on power. Let's test it out with the white round. Power right there. So this is with four rubber bands. You guys feel free to add in as many more rubber bands as you can. Keep in mind though, there's a point where this might self-destruct if you put too many. So just, you know, just a little note right there, right? But it doesn't work too bad. Let's see if we can try six rubber bands. It's gonna be a stretch. Well, let's try it out. Aim, fire. Oh. White rounds. Boom. Didn't quite knock it over, but again, these rounds are not lethal or anything in any way, shape, or form. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and certainly don't forget to check out all my other videos, especially the ones I made on connects and gears, etc. Drop a massive like and subscribe down below to the channel in order for me to keep posting more videos like this. And comment down below for video suggestions for videos that I can do in the future. I will be sure to take a look at those. I appreciate you guys for all your support, and as always, thank you for watching. See you next time.